Hey guys, Ricardo here and welcome to another Blog Tech Tips. Today I have a look at the eco-worthy 600 watt off-grid inverter. Now of course this is one of the latest technologies in terms of it's a pure sine wave inverter. Now as you can see here, this is the main section of the inverter. So if you want to pick up one of these, you can get them about 100 US dollars, give or take, depending on deals. Now I'll have a link in the description as well. Um, if you check this out, as I said, it's pure sine waves. Now note that this is a... 12 volt inverter and it will give you our output uh, AC 120 volts Now as you check on the front here, I've this already set up It's powered off now. I'll give you an idea as to how much noise it makes in terms of power consumption or noise So as you can see here guys, there are two outlets here, which is AC output and of course Do forgive me. It's a very tight space. I have one outlet already occupied and a second one So it goes come with two out Leds, which is very nice it does come with these vents which are cooling um, it has a very rudimentary straightforward um, kind of um, very rudimentary type light up display here and it displays everything in code it does also have the battery indicator the power power and of course it does cycle through these three screens showing you for example, it shows, if I remember this correctly, battery, in terms of what the voltage, the power that's outputting, and of course it will cycle through, and of course it comes with a USB port, and it comes with a port here for the remote, which is optional to connect, I have that connected that, and now for the other side, that's the main side here. Alright, to the other side you do see they have um, various connections, no such a DC 12 volt to remind you and of course you have the positive, you have the negative connections, I have these caps on to protect from a um, short circuit, there's the fan here, that is a ventilation fan, there's a power switch that shows here, um, as you can see, there you have the, these two go to the battery and if you can look down here guys, you can see my uh, battery, I have two of these and do forgive me for the space, it's very uh, kind of cramped and here we have an eco worthy and this is a Life PO4 battery and this Life PO4 battery is a 12.8 volt, it's a 50 AH I have two 50 AH batteries in parallel and of course it does come with a fuse as you can see the fuse here that's on the positive terminal right here and of course this has been working quite fine this is a part of a very small setup i have for solar so you can actually have a very small setup if you want it runs fine with one 50 ah battery but of course this is what i have all right so there's a power on and off and the fan as i said is a log for the ground you can connect a ground in here to ground this device so it does come with everything out the box now of course i'm going to power this on you can listen for the amount of noise it produces all right, here we go for the power on noise test. And here we go. All right, check it out. And the fans are on. All right, so the fans do turn on and off. It does sound very loud when it's on. So it does sound very loud when it's cooling itself, but otherwise it does cycle between on and off, which is bearable. But considering this is a budget device, it is not something that you would, um, what do I put this now to be as honest as possible, that you would not, it is not the most quiet. So I do tell that out of the box. So be aware that it does make a lot of noise. And as I was explaining the lights, as you can see, it transitions between all of them. So first of all, battery voltage, and I'll try to catch that, it says 13.38 and second one here is the amount of power it's outputting, currently it's not outputting anything at all, so there you go, nothing at all, zero, so you can see the second one will show you how much voltage is going out, and then of course it will cycle between these two, telling you battery state and of course voltage. Um, this red one here, I think it only indicates when it's on, no, sorry, incorrect. It actually shows when there's a fault. 
So this is the one you don't want to see when it's on. The exclamation indicates fault. So if there was a fault, it would come on. So there's no fault now. It should also show you an error message, but um, as you can see here, it is not on. So it does cycle between the battery voltage and the amount of power it's outputting. All right, so we're gonna move over. And of course, I have this connected to. I have this connected to um, a charge controller. So the charge controller charges the battery. And of course, the eco or the inverter upscales the battery from DC, which is what's stored in the, sorry, it's stored in the batteries as direct current and it converts it to alternating current which is your usual um, outlet power that you get to power your devices as standard in your house so of course this is the setup alright so let me tell you um, the advantages I've found with this um, I've had it for a while now so I can tell you exactly what it does I have a pump connected and that pump roughly consumes um, yes as I said I had a pump connected um, it consumes roughly 35 watts um as you can see here it will give you an idea do note um it shows 35 watts or so as you can see the pump it's on now and i just turn it on it will show you 34 watts so it will take a while to settle 36 watts so the idea here is that the pump itself doesn't actually consume 35 36 watts but what happens is that there's a cost for running this in terms of conversion so it does take above what the device says it's going to use so in my case the pump is only according to the rating it should only be consuming let's say 25 watts let's just call it 30 25 30 watts but of course the additional um 30 say 5 or 5 watts 5 to 10 watts there about is the cost of running this device because all inverters do use power even if they are at idle so as I was saying, the pump itself is roughly, um, let's say, 30 watts, 25, 30 watts. And of course, this is taking additional 5 watts. So it's taking anywhere between 5 to 10 watts, give or take. And of course, it will fluctuate a bit. So in total, as I was seeing, roughly 35 watts when it settles. And about 5 to 10 of that, those watts, in the case of my um, pump, is just what it costs to run this inverter in terms of power. All right, so again, it works fine. It will work fine for small tools. This is a 600 watts, meaning I cannot use anything that draws above 600 watts. And of course, I have to not make sure I don't overload this. So a 25, 30 watt um, pump is not much of a power draw. But of course, I could connect stuff like power tools. I have two 100 watt solar panels connected to this. And it does easily um, charge the um, batteries which is 100 AH which is 250 AH in parallel so it does work fine I have no issues so far it's been running like a champ it is on all day I turn it off in the night and it comes on in the day with um, a controller I have here this thing that controls when it turns on and off and it runs for the entirety of the day and other than um, days where it's overcast it works fine so I only have issues when maybe like extreme rain where i'm not getting the full sun but once we have full sun it works flawlessly and i'll be able to run that pump continuously using this and of course that pump is a um, ac pump a standard ac pump all right so personally um i had some or some bad reviews that i read but in my case it's not a problem to me it's been running fine and of course, this is from EcoWorthy. I bought this with my own money, so I'm not being paid by EcoWorthy. I have several EcoWorthy devices, so of course, um, they have been working fine for me. And of course, you see it comes with this mounting feet here. So this is definitely one of the ones you can check out, guys. If you if you want to check out something like this, a very small inverter. Um, this would work for a workshop. I would only use this to power very small devices, such as um, pump maybe one pump and of course if i switch out tools such as power tools it could power a power tool stuff that you'd place in a small shed so if you charge like batteries use power tools um you would not be able to run everyone all at once but of course maybe you'd switch out one tool use it then stop this would work for a very small shed or a very small workshop 
And of course, you could use it as a project to save you on power for something like a pump, maybe a garage door opener, or of course, a gate opener, or just something small. So, a single device, and of course, if you're using multiple devices, I'd recommend that you do not run them all at once. So, this can be very um, affordable. Um, you can pick this up, as I said, for $100, give or take. Um, the entire kit with um, battery, charge controller, and um, inverter, plus solar panels would run you somewhere um, around the 500 USD range. So, alright, I'm going to end the tutorial. Here's just a quick tour of this. It does come with um, a power switch, a remote that you can connect and so on, but I don't have those on hand and they're not that important so I left those off. You get everything you need such as fuses, caps and everything in the box. So of course it's a complete package. I'll end it tutorial here. As always recorded from Blog Tech Tips. Same bye until next time. Bye.